Not rescue them alone, but who wouldst aid me? Pray, friend, hear my plight. The great frog king Glugwart and his people have been taken captive by the most fearsome rat of all, Ratso. Thou might scoff, but I assure ye that Ratso and his army are not to be trifled with, or any other kind of puddinged with. Thou must aid me in rescuing the frog folk. As but a single frog, I fear mine chances of success alone are as good as not. What say ye? Well met. Then follow me. Onward! Hark! Our quarry lies ahead. We shall dispatch these reprehensible rodents in the blink of an eye. Ha-ha! <laughs> Thou fights with the warrior's heart. Not, citizen, for the threat has been quelled. Hop home swiftly. I gather thou dost not hear the language of frogs, but know that he was grateful for our help. Now, let us press on. More rats. Let us take the fight to them. With thy aid, we shall surely avert the chorus. Those rodents hold thou no more. Return to thy dwelling, post haste. Mm-hmm. Yes, I shall relay the message. She wished me to pass on her gratitude, and that she is fond of thy sick style, whatever that means. Shall we proceed? Together, we shall defeat these beasts. Now is our moment. We strike! What madness is this? For a moment, I thought I had croaked. The enemy's hand has been stayed. Thou art free to go. Mm. Not even a thank ye from that one. No matter, our work is not yet done. Well, I hope you understand these newfangled forges. I've no idea what this electro catty thing it oh. needs is. Uh, must find bad people. Uh, scare them away. Uh, by Odin's beard, ye shall feel the thunder of mine hammer. Various creatures, free my companion to face the consequences. The danger has passed. Is thou able to find thine own way home? I used to attend school with her though she did not seem to recall me, and after countless occasions of lending her mine eraser. Hark! That is the dreaded rat, Ratso, and holds the king as his prisoner. The horrible rogues, feel the wrath of Frog Hilder. Have at thee, foul creature! Curse ye, Ratso! Thou shalt pay for this insult to our great king! My noble king, we have banished the rats. Thou art free. Well, I am humbled by your kind words, my liege. <laughs> I would tell you what he said, but I fear the human tongue would not do it justice. Apologies. Well fought. With Ratso and his army driven from this land, King Glugwart and the rest of mine frog brethren are safe once more. Well, as safe as a frog can be in this strange place. We must still contend with one of Frogkind's greatest enemies, the one they call Lawnmower. But that is for another time. 
We must celebrate this victory, which would surely have eluded me had it not been for thy help. Thank you, friend. This is just what I need for my study of collecting cool things. Behold, the mighty frog of thunder! Blooming Merlin, bringing his blooming Ooh. culture to the place. Nobody else could concoct a scenario so nefarious! Where should I go for lunch? I need a change of scenery. Sorry to bother you, but... Yep, you guessed it. Now show those guys. You seen that superhero supply store? The lady who runs it always seems to be in some sort of trouble. Yesterday she was purple. Hey, she'll learn to tune it out. Hey, at least we still have our help. Some, uh, questionable training taking place on the mountain. Must be some new kind of ancient martial art. Can you believe they're still making video games about losers like the Avengers? They already had their turn. Two, in fact. Though I'm not sure if they're both strictly canon. Either way, when was the last time you saw a game with a duck on the cover? The industry needs to change, starting with my new game, codename Project Egg. Sadly, my quack starter campaign fell through, so I'm gonna need to find the funds for this thing some other way. Think you could help me find a wealthy entrepreneur that I can hit up? You won't regret it, kid. See what you can find out from the folks around here. There's gotta be at least one money bags in this joint. Something must have gone down in the Cave of Dragons. <laughs> to be honest, I was expecting bigger things from Quackstarter after all the hype. I barely hit 5% of my goal. Kids these days don't know what they want. All right, my hero. All this snow gear. Great job. I knew you could... The thing they don't warn you about when working at the bank is the folks who keep you working late drying off waterlogged treasure. How'd it get so wet? And why was there so much of it? Whoever it belonged to must be ri i i i itch Find out anything about our wealthy friend? Ooh. 
I need a change of scenery. That old prospector over in the Old West said he pulled a big hole of something out of the water the other day. Didn't say what it was. But he was winking so hard, I thought he was going to hurt himself. And he was soaking wet. What a strange fellow. All this snow gear's a waste of money, oh. huh? Saw ATM refused my card the other day. Apparently because my bank doesn't exist in this universe anymore. So now I'm pretty much living on a diet of bits of old shoe. Which is surprisingly good if you leave it to soak in rainwater for a while. I've been saving up for months to buy my dream car. But since everywhere I needed to drive to no longer exists, I don't need it anymore. So I did the logical thing and burned all my money. Yesterday she I need a change of scenery. This snow's been real bad for business. My poor store's been split down the middle. You know Howard the Duck? I got something I was hoping you could pass on to him. A big slap upside the head. That feathered crook stole my sandwich. Is it odd that you're really craving ice cream? On his sanctum, where can I give one? So, what do you got for me? Well, I appreciate you passing on the message without the violence, but technically, it was more of a croak, madame, than a sandwich. Well, that's tragic and a little bit disgusting, and absolutely no help to me. They set the money on what? Ugh, that could have been our meal ticket. Could be something there. If we can confirm it wasn't just an old booty dug up. Hmm, promising. If we knew who cashed in that loot, we could definitely hit them up. So putting what you've told me through the old Detective Melon, we can deduce that the old prospector over in the Old West recently came into some serious cheddar. This is perfect. I the only thing now is to figure out how to convince an old-timey prospector to invest in a Talking Ducks video game. But that won't be the weirdest thing I do all week by any stretch. Thanks for the help, kid. Oh, and if you run into Forbush Man, could you tell him the funds are in the bag? Last I heard, the poor guy was looking into making money through social media marketing. So I've been thinking about this Kang guy, and I don't think I care for him very much. You seen that superhero supply store? Lady who runs it always seems to be in some sort of trouble. 
Yesterday she was purple. <laughs> You'll learn to tune it out. It's a real giant fireball, so it'd melt all this snow. Of course, then we'd have a giant fireball to deal with. Things were going down.